So let's talk leadership for a moment because coaching is a form of leadership. The good shepherd leads. You've got to understand this and pull it deep into your heart. Listen to John 10 verse 27. Jesus talking and he says, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Remember that was Jesus talking. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. The shepherding pattern is God's MO for all leadership assigned to your life. True shepherds lead from in front, going before, not driving from behind. Remember the 23rd Psalm says, the Lord is my shepherd. Verse three, he leads me. Doesn't push me, he leads me. God's shepherding style is to lead, not drive. Fearless leadership sets an example by going out in front to influence. Toxic leadership, inferior leadership, usually pushes from behind, driving people with coercive tactics, pressure campaigns, and even manipulative um, maneuvers. This can include everything from threats and abuse to flattery, deception, and fraud. John Maxwell in his book, How Successful People Think, said this, stay away from experts. So-called experts do more to shoot down people's dreams than just about anybody else. Now, of course, he's not discouraging us from the right experts, mentors, and coaches. In fact, his books often encourage that very thing. The key term here is so-called experts. Jesus also warned his disciples along with us about getting counsel from leaders that poison the mind. Anytime a so-called leader or expert begins the process of isolating you and telling you, only listen to me, I'm the only one who knows you and what's best for you, that's a danger signal. There have been spiritual leaders, pastors, youth pastors that have used that type of coercive talk. That's wolf talk, not shepherd talk. Wolves eat sheep, shepherds lead sheep. That's why it's so important to know that Jesus' voice above every other voice. Ephesians 4 verse 11 says, God provides us with apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. That's the fivefold ministry. Why do you need all these specialty coaches? Because it goes on to say, for your perfecting, for your assignment, for your building up in the body of Christ. See, God has great plans for you, my dear friend, so please, don't give up.